So the work that I do is financial work. I um, own a company that provides financial services to other creative people. And in that line of work, you see a lot of paper, a lot of receipts, a lot of waste, a lot of reports that are printed and then either tossed or thrown in the shredder for recycling. And you hope it ends up getting recycling. But I thought to myself, how can you transform all of this paper, um, all of this raw material, um, particularly for artists who don't have a lot of money? Um, here is a free resource that we can use to make something beautiful. Um, and that's when I got started working on the paper flowers. Uh, the paper flowers were something that I did as a child in school. They taught us how to make it with uh, crepe paper. Made a lot of them uh, to put around the school. And uh, Here. Uh, you can actually uh, turn garbage into something lovely. And um, the idea of a flower um, in and of itself, I think, is a sign of, of peace and of beauty and of love which is a great way to transform trash. Go. To make the flowers, you're gonna need four sheets of paper. You can use tissue paper, which is what this is, wrapping paper, it's nice and flexible. Um, newspaper, from any newspaper, I happen to use some newspaper with some Asian text on it because I like the look of it. Um, this is another layer of tissue paper and another layer of newspaper. Four is usually enough to get a really nice flower, and you want to cut the pages so that they're fairly the same size. They don't have to be perfect, because flowers aren't perfect. And then you can layer them however you like. I like to put tissue paper in between so that the top piece will be a piece of tissue paper. And once that's all together, flatten it out, and then you're going to start doing an accordion fold. You can just start at the end and fold about a half inch, just back and forth. And we're going to cut points on the end here. Again. And then what you're going to want to do is to hold the center together. And the way we do that is usually with twist ties. Or you can use some wire. I've got some wire right here. So I just wrap that around and then I just twist on there. You can fan this out, and you can see that beautiful red in the center. That's going to be the center of your flower. So now comes the careful part. You're going to open it up, and you're going to very carefully start to pull up the tissue paper from in between the folds. I'm going to do one side, gently, just tucking it towards the center and you're going to do the other side as well. Open it up as best you can. Okay, so now you've got that nice center, bright red center of the flower. And the next layer was a newspaper layer. And the newspaper can be more stiff, it's not as flexible. So the chances are you're probably going to rip it a little bit, but that's okay, because flowers aren't perfect. You see I just ripped a little piece right there. And it's still going to look good, even if you rip it. One other idea, if you want really colorful flowers, is you could do a paint wash on your newspaper or uh, use vegetable dye or something like that to give it a little tint 
if you needed to have a very specific color because all of this paper was found in the trash. People were throwing it out. So I didn't have much choice as far as what the colors were. But if you want some more control over your colors, you can always paint the paper before you make the flower. Okay. And that's the newspaper layer. You can actually start to squish it from the bottom so that it really comes up like this. And then just go through and pull and tuck where you want to spread it out so that it looks like the kind of flower you want it to look like. It's a beautiful so, angel. It's got a little ripped here. But no, that's perfect. Just had to do. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. Is that a receipt flower? It's a receipt florette. A florette? Yes, it is. Perfect for the wedding. Okay. This is a little florette I made um. from receipts. A little florette I made from receipts. The back is blank. The top, you can see the letters in there, the amount that I paid. And what I'm going to be doing is collecting all of my receipts for the year I make for the entire year. 2011. And I've already started collecting receipts. Crate and Barrel, Anytime Burger here in Williamsburg, mm-mm, good. We order from them a lot. So it's really easy to make them because all you're doing is an accordion fold. And you want your receipts to be a fairly long receipt. And we've got fairly long receipts because we buy so darn much. And the whole point of this exhibit will be about consumption. An entire year of purchased goods and services. But what we're going to do is actually use a piece of wire. You can use twist ties as well. I think about two inches should be enough. I'm going to cut that wire. So you've got the little florette. And it's nice when you have a little bit of color in the center. It really makes it pretty. But you've got to then attach the ends together. And you can use glue, or in this case, I'm going to actually staple it together on the end. Pretty. 